Hi guys, my name is Mir and today I'll be taking you over Outrix. This is Outrix and Outrix is my weapon of mass deduction. Basically Outrix is a program that allows you to uh, bring in multiple different data sources, blend them together, run a whole bunch of data manipulation across that data and then analyze it and build models off the back of it. Outrix provides a variety of different tools to help you play with your data. Um, you've got all the tools presented to you in the topmost uh, section of Outrix. So these are all the tools that you have available to you that are the most commonly used and they're grouped into this favorites tab. We've got a bunch of tools that allow you to input and output your data, to prepare your data, um, to join different data sources together, um, to pass your data, to transform your data, it allows you to document your workflows, uh, it's got a bunch of spatial tools, a bunch of data investigation tools, a bunch of different predictive tools, uh, A-B testing, time series, predictive grouping, and some prescriptive tools. Here's a workflow I prepared earlier on university grant data. Um, this data I've sourced from uh, Kaggle, and it was a competition that ran about eight years ago. And the basic premise of the competition is to predict which grants are the most likely to get accepted for funding. So in this workflow, what I've done is I've brought in some uh, training data. I've uh, then done a bunch of exploratory data analysis on that data using Outrix. I do some initial cleansing of data. Um, so I replace a bunch of uh, nulls within certain fields. Um, and then once I've done that, I can then fit a bunch of different models. So what I fit here is uh, a couple of decision tree models, uh, fit a couple of boosted models, uh, fit a forest model, a neural network model, and a naive Bayes model. And you can see the outputs from each of these models. Uh, if you click on the output, uh, the output tool will give you the model object that it's, that it's built. The R output will give you a report. Um, and over here you can assess how well your models fit fitted and what it's actually fitted on uh, so there's a whole bunch of information here which I won't go over for the sake of brevity um, and you can review the outputs from each of these uh, models either in a static report or an interactive report so the interactive report is just a bit more I guess visually pleasing and provides you a bit more information there um, so you've got all of these models, once I've got all of these models, uh, I can then compare these models together using a lift chart. Um, this is the performance of all the models that are fit against the university uh, acceptance grant data. Um, so what you can see from here is uh, it appears that the decision tree 2 model is the best performing along with uh, the boosted 2 model and the final fitted models are then outputted. I then take my fitted models and use them to score new data. So this workflow here, what I've done is I've taken data set that the competition was using as the test data set and used my fitted models to uh, score, score that data essentially. So what you can see here is I've taken my decision tree model and I've generated a bunch of predictions the likelihood of a grant being accepted or not so this first grant here has a 61% uh, chance of not being uh, granted and a 38% chance of being granted so that in a nutshell is Outrix this is why Outrix is my weapon of mass deduction